guys, it's Heather LaBoss here. Are you as stressed out about school as I am? Because I feel like my head is just going to spin off at any moment. I've got work and now school's about to start and I'm feeling a lot of anxiety. So if you feel that way too, I know your pain. This is why I wanted to make this video for you guys because I really want to get you excited about going back to school. I know it's one of those things that a lot of creative people think School is just not meant for me. It's just this cookie cutter little institution and I feel like the life is getting sucked out of me. And I know you can feel that way, but I just want to say this. You can use your creativity to succeed in all of your courses. And I just want to scream that from the mountaintops because I didn't really understand that when I was younger, but I do now and I'm telling you guys, your creativity can really help you succeed. Are you ready to harness your creativity to get all excited about school and get those organizing skills together? Well, I sure am, so let's get into it. One of the best ways to kick off this new school semester is to create an awesome binder that really fits your personality. I really love my binders. They're sentimental to me and they're almost like a scrapbook for schoolwork. This binder was the first one that I decided to decorate and take care of organizing. If I ever want to go back and brush up my knowledge of interior design, I have this whole book to do it. Now this binder is also very special to me because it helps me keep track of the classes I need to finish for the degrees I want. I would highly suggest creating a binder like this to help you stay on track, plus it's super motivating and your counselor will love you. Now that I've shown you some examples, let's get into creating one of these guys. Start off by searching for the perfect picture. I love going to stock photo websites like Pixabay because the image quality is on point and you can find beautiful, interesting images for free. After finding a few that I like, I paste them into Microsoft Word to format it and leave a tiny white border. To really make the binder pop, I suggest going to Kinko's because you're gonna get the best printing quality done there and I don't know about you, but my home printer is really not that great. I find that black binders work really well with nature photos if they just pop right off the page, especially with the white borders on the photo. Now you can stop here and leave it as is, but I'm going to add some scrapbook paper just to spice it up a little bit. I'm just taking this pink paper and using it for my background. And I have to admit, I was having quite a hard time trying to figure out which scrapbook paper I liked better, so I decided to go with both. I took this little letter scrapbook paper and decided to make it my border around my picture. And then there you go. For the back of my binder, I'm just going to add my image and leave it as is because these little pins are in the way and I just don't want to deal with it. Next, it's time to create the side label which is going to polish off your binder. If you like the fonts I'm using, I actually got them off of DA fonts. Even the little bird that you see and that butterfly, they're also fonts. I suggest printing out a few different sizes and fonts to test them out because options are your best friend. Now you're going to want to paste your text to a thick, let me emphasize thick, piece of scrapbook paper. Something as thick as cardstock would work the best. Now here is the tricky part, getting the paper in the slot. But be as patient as you can and it's going to frustrate you a little bit. What I found works the best is to really lay the binder flat and just gently slide the paper in. Yes, this might be a huge pain, but once you're done, you can take a breath and just admire the awesome work that you've done. Now you have a sleek, beautiful binder that fits your style and can help you stay inspired and organized. The inside of my binder, I really like to have these plastic sleeves because they look super cool and sophisticated and nice. Another thing you can do is print out a monthly calendar. Just search on Google, there's a whole bunch of them. That's exactly what I did in this binder, and it actually saved me some money of not having to go out and buy a planner, which I end up losing half the time anyways. So that about wraps up what I have inside my binder and how to make it. If you end up making one of these binders, please send me a picture. I would be so happy to see what you guys come up with. I know you're all very creative. 
So there you go. I hope you really enjoyed this video and got a lot out of it. Don't let these years pass you by because you can really get a lot out of education that you might not think is worth anything. So just absorb as much as you can when you're in school. As always, you can follow me on my other social platforms that I will list down below for you guys. We can chat there as well. I wish you could see my face light up when I read one of your comments or you tweet at me. I just, it makes me so happy. So thank you guys for supporting my channel. I love you guys so much. Take care and I will talk to you guys in my next video.